Hi, library friends. This is Miss Cindy from the Crown Point Community Library. And today I'm going to be bringing the library into your home with a story and a craft. So the story that I decided to read to you today is a book by Erin Blavy and it is called I Need a Hug. It is, it is published by Scholastic Press. Again, it's I Need a Hug. I need a hug. Will you cuddle me, Lou? What? With those spikes? Get away from me! Shoo! I need a hug. Will you cuddle me, Ken? Help! It's that prickly thing at it again. I need a hug. Will you cuddle me, Joe? Cuddle you? I won't. No, 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 no. No one will hug me. That's not very kind. But hey, wait a minute. You've all changed your mind. You see this picture right up here? In the very corner? Snake. Gosh, all I did was ask for a kiss. Did they have an idea? Well, well, isn't this lovely? Yes, how about this? I need a hug. Nobody wants to hug a prickly porcupine because he's prickly. Um, so luckily he found Snake who nobody would kiss. So our craft today, hopefully you stop by the library and you pick up your activity bag. And our craft today is to create a porcupine craft. So our porcupine craft, all your materials are inside your bag. So you will find a paper plate, or half of a paper plate a piece of tissue paper, two pieces of brown construction paper, and an eye. And what you're going to do is you're going to start by taking your brown tissue paper and you're just going to, you can tear it up, you can cut it up, but you're going to tear it into pieces and you're going to glue it. So you will need a glue stick or some glue. You'll glue it to your paper plate and that's going to be his body. So that's the shape of his body. And you can glue it on either side. You can decide which way you want to do it. Then you will take the, you have two pieces of paper inside your bag. One is skinnier than the other one. So you're going to take the one that's a little bit uh, taller and you're just going to cut this into strips. These are going to be his spikes. So you're just going to go and just cut along the edges and cut that into strips. And they don't have to be the same sizes or perfect. And then you're going to glue those onto your paper plate so that they'll all stick out and they're going to be his spikes, his little prickles. All right, so the other piece of paper, this one, we're going to cut into two things. One, we're going to cut it into a head. So you can decide what shape of head you want him to have. If you want him to have a oval shaped head, Cut out an oval, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be a round head, however you want it to look. And we're gonna glue that to the front. So that's gonna be his head. Right now, he kind of looks like a turtle, but once he gets his spikes on there, he looks more like a porcupine. And then, then you're gonna, he's gonna need some feet. So you're gonna use this, the rest of this or some of this, and just cut some feet off and glue those to the bottom. So he'll have four feet, a head, and a bunch of prickles. Once you put his head on there, you can glue the eye on. So he'll have an eye. And if you want to, you can even give him a smile. You could use a Sharpie or a black magic marker or maybe even a red one and uh, give him a smile so he can be a happy porcupine. And then you'll have your porcupine craft. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the story. 
And um, I'd love to see what you create. I'd love to see your porcupines that you come up with. So feel free to share them with us on our Facebook page. And you can check out our website at crownpointlibrary.org to find our YouTube channel with lots of other videos. Take care and have a great day.